Well, I've got you on my mind, but I've got her by my side. Hi, if I ever break. Um, I'm coming at you today with a video that I thought about last night. Uh, I was watching some of my older videos, not really old, but like last year, and there was this one video that I did that I actually felt like it could have been a lot better. Um, I was in a rush and it was a made for, and I did it for the Nashville Boogie, it was kind of a 60s updo. And I've done these before, but I had a better idea of how to do it. So I thought I would go ahead and do a quick tutorial and sort of also a little test uh, run for me on this particular style. So what I'm going to do, I've actually cur curled my hair a little bit today, um, and I'm just to give it a little extra volume. So what I'm going to do is I actually took my hair and put it up into a ponytail, sort of a high ponytail. And I'm just going to take this mesh bun form and put it around the ponytail. So this will be just a standard bun form, which I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. You basically just take your hair and you put it over the top of a bun form. Um, you place it over the top, spread your hair over it, and then you place another rubber band or a ponytail holder over the top of that. And that's going to give you, this is the just the little ballet bun. Okay, and then I've got all these little extra pieces around, but I'm not going to worry about those. And then I'm going to take my Irresistible Me ponytail extension. Now, the extension, the last time I used it, this thing is really, really dry and fuzzy and kind of the wrong color right now because my hair has faded. And right when I first color my hair, I usually do a dark auburn. Right when I first color my hair, it's generally like the perfect color, but it's a little bit dark right now. So it's going to look a little funny because my hair is going to look darker on top. So what I'm going to do is instead of using the ponytail extension the way that it's intended, I'm actually going to take it and just pin it to the top of my head. But I'm going to take it and just sort of pin it to the top of my head. Um, now, I'm not going to bother with the ribbon or anything because I want to get as much height as possible out of all this. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of smooth it over the initial bun form. So now we have tons of volume in our frizzy ponytail. And I'm going to smooth it back just a little bit just to kind of get a general idea of how it's going to lay. And this ponytail has been waved to an extent, but again, it needs to be reconditioned so we can brush it against our hand so and get a bit smoother curl so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my loose hair and start making structured curls to put down around the base of this bun so the first thing I'm going to do is take some hair sheen spray this is the vintage glam thermal shine spray it's not the I mean it's not available anymore so whatever you can find that's similar and I'm just going to spray a section with this to keep it nice and as shiny as possible. And I'm going to start, in no real rhyme or reason, I'm just going to start taking individual pieces and curling them down. There's so many great options when you have, like, false hair. You can do so much with it. And the trick is not to pin it too hard, not to pin it too um, formed. And I'm going to add some of my shine spray and I'm going to take each pin curl and just lay it loosely against my head and pin it in place and I tend to use black bobby pins because black bobby pins just form in with my hair a little better now again if the hair was a little silkier because I had washed it and conditioned it lately it would look even better but that's not really the purpose of this tutorial. It's just to kind of give you a general idea of how you can use one of these ponytail extensions. So now I'm going to take this big chunk here because I want it to sort of form a base. I'm going to brush it really, really good so that it's as structured as it can be. And then I'll wrap it around two fingers and spin it in towards my head and lay it up against my head and then pin it in place. And for larger chunks like this, you may need more than one bobby pin. But I would say on average, you're gonna get plenty of hold from one or two. So there we go with another little bundle. 
Now, these loose curls here can fall over the back of the bun. Now, for the back sections, what I want to do is take the remainder of the hair that I have here and just sort of start and spread them over the top of that bun form so that it's hidden because this that's not the feature in this style. It's just to lend height. And I'm going to pin the back sections over this bun form. And then I'm going to take the, cl the cluster of curls that's falling back here and just push it up and pin it loosely. And then after everything's sort of positioned, we can start re like start placing these curls to be a little bit more specific because as you can see, it started to fall off center a little bit. This is similar to stuff worn by Bridget Bardot, like I said, from Gilligan's Island and a few others. And it always, always is going to look better if there's a little bit more of a um, polish and shine to it. But you have lots of options with this. And this side has a little bit more curl along the side, so I've pulled down just a few hairs and I'm going to tuck them up along the edges on this side to, go, to make it a little bit more uh, consistent. Also, um, trying to think of other people, Anne Margaret wore styles like this. The interesting thing about the Anne Margaret ones is that her hair was literally to her shoulders and she wears these huge updos similar to this one. And the funny part, a thing about that is most men probably did not even think about the fact that she had way too much hair piled on top of her head for her hair to only be shoulder length. So yeah, much happier with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one up, but I really, really like this sort of a style. You can do all kinds of cool things with it. You can put flowers in it. It's not quite as 60s if you put flowers in it. <laughs> I mean, I literally have to come down a little bit so you can see it. But I think this is a really, really good way to utilize a ponytail, a faux ponytail. If you've got one of those clip-in ponytails, or just a big hair piece, like a fall, that's gonna work even better. This is just what I had available to me. So I feel like it's an always a really great option. Um, but yeah, this is the way that I would utilize my faux ponytail extension in a 1960s updo with lots and lots of big gigantic curls and some bangs. But you don't have to do bangs. You could just put your hair straight back. And that will look sort of Catherine Deneuve. Um, but yeah, I enjoy stuff like this. So yeah, let me know if you have any other requests. I'm okay, so I looked at the back and this is my only issue with it. On this side, I think this is exactly what I was looking for. Hopefully you can see it on this side. This side is a little bit more frizzy and a little bit more smooth. This is a perfect time to utilize flowers if you don't feel like messing with it much more. Because sometimes when you have it just right on one side and not on the other side, you can end up feeling frustrated because you don't want to mess up the good side. So flowers, what we do is we get a big flower, big one, and we use it just in the areas where we want there to be a little more continuity. And now it's a little better. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I kind of feel like it's a little dance hall with this flower. Maybe I need some feathers, but We'll talk to you next time. Bye.